Hello, I'm Kipling and I'm here at Cambridge Butterfly Conservatory and I'm hanging out with our honeybees. Our honeybee hive here is what we call an observational hive and it's so people can see all the inner workings, what goes on within a colony of honeybees. It's a little bit different from beekeepers that would keep bees for a living and use them commercially. They have a lot larger honeybee hive than we do. Ours here is only made up of four frames like that. Whereas a real honeybee hive would have anywhere in the neighborhood about 30 to 60 different uh, frames in one colony. This is Russian sage. To collect all the pollen here, the bees carry it by packing all the pollen in to the back of their hind legs in this area called the pollen basket. Now the nectar is a little bit trickier because it's liquid. So to do that, they actually drink the nectar and bees have a second stomach that acts as a carrying bag. And they carry all the nectar in that stomach. When they get back to the hive, they puke it all back up on the hive and that's what they make the honey from. So honey is kind of bee puke if you think about it. The waggle dance is a very interesting dance. This dance in the shape of a figure eight. When the bees are in the middle of the figure eight, this is where they waggle their abdomen. And it's this waggling of the abdomen that passes all the information on to the other bees. The length of time that they waggle in the middle here tells you the distance you have to fly. Now the direction is also important because you don't want to fly two kilometers in the wrong direction. All the bees know that the top of the hive represents the sun. So let's assume that my flower up here is the top of the hive. If the bee is dancing around and it waggles its bum while going straight up to the top of the hive, then all the bees know they have to fly towards the sun. If the bee is dancing in the opposite direction and waggles their bum as they go straight down, away from the top of the hive, they know they have to fly away from the sun. And once they get close to where that patch of flowers is, then they'll fly around in small circles smelling for the nectar that the first bee brought back. <laughs> 